Oh guys, you guys are not gonna believe this. I just came over from that tree. We have hunted this house, and other people have hunted this house, but look in the side wall right there. We are loaded, let's go. I just walked out here and I just wanted to show y'all this. And this is out in the front yard. We got uh, small little cannons. We got four cannons here, and uh, I got out of Tulsa. Well, I wish I could get these. These are nice. I like that. Anyway, the house that I'm hunting at today is, uh, I think, built around 1900. And uh, I've hunted it before, but back a long time ago. So again, I'm going back to revisiting a lot of these sites that I've uh, hunted with my AT Pro and coming back with the CTX and uh, it's got a big side yard over here and that's what I'm going to focus on is that side yard and uh, I don't want to show the house and uh, keep the location kind of secret but it also has a big front yard out here too that we can hit so let's get suited up let's get out there let's see what we can find all right I just came over from my truck right there made my way over here I'm working this uh, tree line right there. And uh, I got me a 34 signal about seven inches deep. Oh, yeah, six, eight, six, seven inches deep. Check this out. I've already looked at it. My friend that I just dropped off, I told him about this house and then I decided to come to it. Looks like a watch fob. going to be a, an Acme, an Acme watch fub. Check that out. That's got to be kind of old. Yeah, check that out right there. That's going to be pretty nice. I like that. I'll take that any day. All right, that's a good sign. There's, there are definitely things I missed the last time I was here. And that's what that equinox, I've been going back doing that uh, yards I've done before with the AT Pro or whatever and come back with equinox and still finding stuff out. So, all right, let's uh, put that in the pocket. Let's keep on going. Well, still working this tree line over here on the side of the house in this vacant lot, getting a very deep, like 10 inches, 29 to a 30, very faint signal and uh, dug down, I got it exposed, check that out. Can y'all see that? That is going to be silver. That is gonna be, oh, one dime, one dime. Uh -oh, I'm getting focus right here. What's that gonna be? All right, let me put that down, we see a little bit better. It's gonna be a barber dime, 18, 1896 Barbara Dime. How about that? That's why you come back and hunt places like this with your eight, with your uh, CTX. You find stuff that you've missed before. And that was very deep. And uh, man, that is a good find. That's a watch fob and a Barbara Dime. Man, let's keep on going. There's got to be more out here. Let's keep on going. Well, I just uh, got through digging that other uh, barber dime right over there, close to those trees, and uh, came up, and I came back over this way, and I was getting two signals in the hole. I was getting this one right here. This uh, looks like some type of lead, 
but I could hear two signals in the hole. I was getting a high tone and, and, and this low tone here, this iron. There's two pieces of iron right there. And that's why you dig those iffy signals, because that's what you get right there. It's another silver. Another silver. That's going to be a Merc. It's going to be a Merc. Let's see if we can pop that off. That's a worn out Merc at that. That's going to be early, early on. Can y'all read that? 19. Is it 20 something? Let me see if I can sit there and get a better. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. 19, I can't tell, 1920 something. Anyway, I'll take that any day. And that's one of my strategy, what I'm trying to do is when people hunt these old houses, they tend to stay up by the house. And I'm trying to get out here and stay away and hunt out in the, uh, the very far away places and listen to faint signals. All right, let's uh, get some pictures. Let's keep on going. I just wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you all how deep I just dug this wheat penny up at eight to nine inches that's why I'm finding these silvers out here at uh, eight to ten inches deep uh, it's corroded it's eaten up very bad but it uh, definitely is green on one side I rubbed off the patina on the other but it's definitely a wheat penny thought maybe it's gonna be an Indian it was ringing up but it's ringing up kind of a little higher than Indian Let's see if that is a weedy. Yeah, I see it one cent upside down there. All right. I just want to show you how deep that is. I mean, that is way, way down there. All right. Making my way out toward the road. Let's keep on going. Well, just got that uh, wheat penny right down there. Making my way up this way right here. And got a 28, but it's a real jumpy signal. And uh, dug this up. And... Well, maybe that was it. And because it was a jumpy signal, what do you do? You always check your holes. And look at that. That's going to be a palm olive token, I guarantee you. Uh, or one of those tokens like that. Yeah, it's going to be good for one cake. Cream oil, soap free. Yeah, we dig these things quite a bit. Uh, I bet it's going to say if I can hold on to it. I bet it's going to say palm olive on it. I keep got this new camera here. I'm not used to it yet. Anyway, it's in good shape. I like these tokens. They're always good to dig. Get it in the light there where you can see it. All right, let's keep on going. Little palm olive token right there. All right, let's keep on seeing what we can find. Well, I just dug that token there. And a lot of trash out here, a lot of 14, 50 signals, and I haven't really been digging those. And I got this 25 down to a 24. And I like these things. Let me get that out of the, in the sun there. Those are Morrow Waterproof Orange Rouge makeup case. I'll take that any day. I like those things. All right, let's keep on going. All right, I've uh, been working this little side yard right here. Went up in the front yard a while ago of this home and uh, didn't find anything. A lot of 15, 14, 13s, a lot of trash out here. But just working over here. Uh, came over here, going to start working over here on this uh, front yard. And got a 25 signal, about six inches deep. It's not in the hole, but I can see it right there. It's going to be another silver. What's it going to be? What is that? Ah, it's a barber. It's another barber. You're kidding me. I already got one barber, 1896, and I got that 1920 something uh, Merc. And here's another barber. Oh, check this out. Oh, it popped good. Let me sit down. Let me, let me put that right there. I think we can see the date on that. Is that 1908 or 1900? Let's see if I can rub it on my pants just a little bit. All right, I think it's going to be a 1900 barber. Check that out. Got some tarnish on it. 
but I'll take it. I'll take that any day. All right, 1900 Barber Dime. Check that out. Wow. That is unreal. Unreal. All right. Let's take some pictures and let's keep on going. Check that out. All right. Let's keep on going. Well, I'm up in the front of the house. I'm out here by this rock wall. We've hunted this place before, but uh, we've never really hunted out here. And I've never really hunted over on the side. It's a lot of area to cover. It's like any yard. It's never hunted out. And so you just got to go slow. And that's what I've been doing. Going very slow and just uh, trying to listen for the real faint signals. And I got a 19 here. And this popped it out. I can see it right. Gosh, I'm not used to my camera yet. It's right there. You see it? All right. Looks like a coin. No, no, no. Not a coin. Check that out, guys. U.S. button. U.S. collar. Uh, collar button. Let's see if the shank's on. The pin. No. Pin's off of it. Hey, that's all right, isn't it? Check that out. Little little military out here. Maybe go with that buckle I dug earlier over at that uh, other location. All right, let's get some pictures. Let's keep on going. All right, I made my way down that side of the yard. Dug a few pieces of trash and decided to come over here before it gets too late. Wanted to come over by this uh, big old tree. And I got a good 30 signal down in the hole. Digging up pieces of iron. Iron nails in here. And, but I'm still getting a high tone, and I just popped it up, and that's it right there. I don't know what it is. Ha ha, looky there. Looky there. Looky there. That is going to be a very old silver ring look how deep that was there's my pin pointer you see i'm still i'm a foot deep digging that out from underneath those roots that looks like a very old it's broken very old class ring wow why didn't I think about coming over here earlier? That's because I didn't. I wanted to go to that older spot, but I'm glad I came over here anyway. Check that out. It's broken. No writing on it. Looks like some type of little. Let me put it down. Maybe you can see a better picture of it. I don't know. Looks like a like an old class ring. But I don't know. All right, what do you think about that? Wow, I can handle that now. That is going to be awesome. A silver ring, ringing up like a broken up 2930, jumping around because the iron, very deep, took me about 10 minutes to get it, being down here underneath these roots. But hey, it's worth it. Let's get some pictures, and let's keep on going. Oh, guys, you guys are not going to believe this. I just came over from that tree. We have hunted this house, and other people have hunted this house, but I've been trying to focus on being away from everything and listen to deep, faint signals. And I just dug that ring right over there, came in a straight line right over here, and look in the sidewall right there. That is a silver quarter. Still in the sidewall. Oh man, let's get it out. All right. 1940, 1943, Washington Quarter. Get the focus here. Sitting on the edge. It was ringing up a 32. I was getting a good signal with it though. Can you believe that? Man, I've had a killer day out here. 
Wow, check that out. Let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. All right, still at it. Dug that quarter right over there and work this area right over here. Decided to come up right here to the front of the house, work this sidewalk. And uh, I was getting 11 to a 12 signal and dug down, check it out. I got a 1902 V nickel. Boy, you can't beat that. This is an awesome day. You see the Lady Liberty right there. A little toasty on the back. I'll take it. All right, let's get some pictures and keep on going. And got a 21, 22 signal, and I got a token. And uh, I think it's going to be perhaps that uh, looks like a quarter. I see some writing on it. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of token. It may be like play money token or, or something. I'll have to clean it on up, but it's uh, pretty crusty, pretty toasty, but there's definitely some writing on it. So I'll try to get that cleaned up a little bit and get you a better picture of it. So let's get a picture and let's keep on going. All right, it's trivia time. In my last video, gold and silver, Eureka gold and silver, I found a token. What kind of token was it? Was it a sawmill token? Was it a tax token? Was it a merchandise token? Which one was it? First one to answer that correctly in the comments below is going to win a pre d sticker and something else. So good luck, everybody. All right, I had a phenomenal day today. I didn't really think I was going to get anything out here at this old location. I've hunted it many times before. The last time I came out here, I didn't find anything. And uh, this time, I happened to find a lot of things. Goes to show you with a little moisture in the ground, and listening deeper and digging faint signals, you never know what you're gonna find. But let me show you what I got. Here is my trash. That's from the other location as well. A lot of home site stuff, you can tell. We dug a lot of stuff. Dug a lot of that out here. And um, then here's our, all the treasures. I ended up getting uh, seven pennies, one dime, and one quarter. I got one toy car, and then one Tootsie toy. And then I kept this little water plate because I like that Star of David and the cross on it. I'm going to put that with my religious stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, end up getting one wheat penny. It's so toasted, I don't even know, I don't even know what it is. Uh, I did get, I believe, a military buckle, belt buckle, and uh, some type of little rouge case. Never dug one of these before, but I put it in my display with all of them. It was a 1902 uh, V-nickel. I got an Acme watch fob, and uh, that probably date late 1800s. I uh, did get a palm olive token uh, for one cake. I get, did get a U.S. collar button. But here's the great finds of the day. I got that uh, broken up class ring, and uh, got that 1920 as a 20 something, but I think it's, it's worn out. We can't tell what it is. 20 something. Then I got that 1943 quarter on the sidewall there. Then I got that 1898, 19, 1900 barber. Then 1896 barber. So I got four, five silvers, four silver coins, silver ring. And everything else so not a bad day not a bad day so there's all the trash and here's all the treasure and like i always say the greatest treasure is not what you can find in a 110 year old home the greatest treasure is what you can find up in heaven keep searching keep looking up until we meet again i just want to wish everybody happy hunting and god bless <music>